right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't yet already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. The link will be down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. So, as you can tell uh, from the previous video, this is going to be a video before this. This is the uh, aftermath, pretty much. The bearing right there on the axle shaft seal, if you want to show them, is not put back in yet. So, they got the back uh, waiting there. I got to wait to get it pressed in. So while we're waiting for that to get done, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the plugs, we're gonna do the oil, and we're gonna do the air filter. Give it all a quick uh, tune up, I guess you could say. So you know what, let's get this thing started because it's not gonna take long to do it as I hope, you know, knock on wood. But, all right, let's do this thing. So after you got your air box off, uh, that was pretty simple. Um, there's gonna be two bolts on the sides, 10 millimeters, and there's gonna be one holding onto the throttle body, uh, the, the, the uh, overing clamp, the hose clamp. Then I'm gonna come over here to the coil and plugs. These are all 10 millimeters, uh, pretty simple. Um, they seem to be coming off pretty good. This side's completed, it wasn't too bad. Uh, there's a little bugger in the back here with all the wires and the, uh, looks like the uh, PVC um, EVAP lines. Um, so the back was, it was okay. You just gotta feed in you know, the socket, then you gotta feed in the wrench. At one time you can't get it on there at once. Uh, the other side I'm hoping is a little bit easier because there's nothing much coming off here except, no, it's not, it's just same thing, just different thing. All right guys, so now we're gonna head on. We're gonna move on to the passenger side for these. Alright guys, now that we got the plugs um, all put back in, coils on, everything's bolted down, we got these nasty old plugs out. Um, getting in the back was a big of a pain because you got your throttle body and you have on one side, and then you have your dipsticks for your oil and your transmission on the other side. In the back it was pretty much the same on the other side, you have to keep feeding it. Um, it is what it is, the fronts are always easier than the backs of course, um, but we're going to fire her up right now, we're going to get the, make sure everything's running well. This here is another quick little uh, tune-up. Down the bottom, there's actually really nothing down there. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the air filter back in because we gotta put together the whole um, intake system again. So let's go ahead and assemble that. Let 
Not too hard, it's got those clamps on the sides. Now that that's done, let's put on the main housing here. Now that we got the plugs in, got the air filter in, everything's put back together. Um, battery's charged up now. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fire up, make sure everything is good, and then we're gonna go ahead and change the oil. All right, everything seems to be running pretty good. We got a steady idle. We're gonna let this thing warm up now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start changing the oil right now, all right? Alright guys, that is it. We did the oil, we did the oil filter, we did the spark plugs, we did the air filter. And she is running really good. This is a good tune-up. Helps resell it, I think, you know? I mean, it shows that you took care of it, even though that you bought it from someone that probably didn't. But that's besides the fact. Alright guys, you do whatever you want. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.